what does this good looking airplane have to do with this box? Well, utilizing Steve Rom's fold a plane technique, this fuselage is able to be shipped to you in this box. Just add a little epoxy, well, okay, a lot of epoxy, some cutting, sanding, and you could have a fuselage formed in less than a week, like I did. The parts are vacuum bagged and have a beautiful smooth surface. The old days of filling and finishing your fuselage are over. Here you can see all the parts laid out on my work table. Just lay out the pre-cut pieces, prep the edges, put on some micro and push them together. Let dry and add a couple of layers of fiberglass to each side and you're done. As my assistant Victoria demonstrates, it's really not difficult at all. One of the things that I decided to do before I put it in its cradle, I decided to do sanding while on a flat surface. I got Victoria in on the process as well. She's a good little helper. Once all the parts are assembled, you round out some friendly assistants like my daughter Kara and my wife June, my banker. Then you, you pick it up, you fold it, and you drop, well, here, just, just watch. Okay, here we go. It's so heavy, I don't think I can do it. Okay, just slide it right on in. Okay, it's not in. Okay, here you go. And as June says... Well, that wasn't hard. Okay, you got it? I said it would be hard. So what you're going to do is put fiberglass in there so that it stays in this angle. Is that right? So it stays in this... You got it. As you can see, the joint is here. Down in through here is the bare foam. Here's the fiberglass, fiberglass. And what I need to do now is I need to cut these edges here so that they become flush and smooth. Here's an inside shot of the fuselage. You can see the joint here and going across to the other side over here. We'll cut this in order to make it fit nice and smooth like the rest of these joints do here. You can see the foam here, the fiberglass, and we'll lay two layers of fiberglass overlapping two inches all the way across over to here overlapping by two inches here and as well on the other side. Here's the outside shot. You can see where they line up here. We're going to make the cut right along here. And here's what the fuselage looks like once the corners have been cut, microed. So you can see the joints where each section has been applied. And you can also see the bare foam where we're going to lay the fiberglass in to make this now a rigid tub. After a few weeks of work, you can see I've got the firewall installed and the front is trimmed nice and flush and level. The seat is temporarily affixed here so I can cut to make it fit properly. Once that's done, I'll micro and uh, fiberglass the edges in. The bulkhead is in, and then after I get this seat back in, I'll start working on the rudder vators. As you can see, the entire V-tail is constructed on the airplane. I've installed my antenna underneath the fiberglass for my radios. And the next step for me in this process is to take this entire section to remove it. I'll cut along this line along the top and on the bottom side, dig out the uh, foam that's underneath here, build up some fiberglass layers for, re for reinforcement and strength. I'll add the three hinges and that will give me a movable surface here. This will be my elevator and my rudder, thus the term rudder vaders. This has been an extremely fun airplane to put together so far. Thanks to Steve, Scott, and Morgan for the work and effort they've put into this project. And especially Steve for the fold a plane technique. It is absolutely a blast to put together. Now if you want a lot more information, please visit their websites called CorvairCruiser.com and Contact Magazine also did a little spread with some great pictures and a good article on this particular airplane. Uh, go to their website, contactmagazine.com. Now you know a little bit about the type of airplane that I'm building. So uh, check back from time to time. I'll give you some updates and progress reports. So until next time, I'm Bruce Sturgill. 
enjoy the pursuit of flight.